The curtain rises tonight on Toronto's largest celebration of Black History Month through film. The ninth annual Toronto Black Film Festival opens with a movie produced by someone we usually don't associate with production. CTV's Andrea Case joins us now with that story. Andrea. Michelle and Nathan, good evening. Absolutely, yes. NBA All-Star Shaquille O'Neal, he was an All-Star, I think it was 15 times, and he won the championship four times. So when he heard about the story behind Foster Boy, he decided he would bring this loosely based story on real events to the big screen. The Randolph. I see you more than I see my grandchildren. Foster Boy is the story of a young man who was abused in the privatized foster care system. Meet your new lawyer, Michael Trainer. The film stars Matthew Modine, Louis Gossett Jr., and newcomer Shane Paul McGee as the victim. When Chicago lawyer J. Paul Duratani went back to school in his 40s, his teacher said, write what you know. And what's your passion? I said, well, I've taken on several of these cases with foster children. And uh, he said, write that. And I did. And next thing I knew, he introduced me to a, a, another producer who then introduced me to Shaquille O'Neal. And Shaq said, uh, you got to write, you know, you've got to, we've got to do this. Dara Tanney represented a number of children in the foster care system. And the film is inspired by true events. We have to expose the foster care system for what it is, which is a broken, broken system. In the United States, the number of children in foster care is rising. And along with it, the costs. So for-profit foster care was created. Matthew's character, he, he is stilted. He doesn't, he's broken up from his wife. He doesn't have a good relationship with his son. And he is um, a very flawed character. And he refuses or he can't see Jamal for who he is. They have to come together and start seeing each other in order to win the case. While Canada does not have privatized foster care, there are approximately 60,000 kids who are currently in the overburdened system and 440,000 in the United States. Unless we start treating each other as equals and start loving each other, uh, there's no hope. The Toronto Black Film Festival features 154 films from 25 countries as well as events online. It all starts tonight and runs until February 21st. I'm Andrea Case reporting live. Nathan, I'll send it back to you. All right, thank